Recording in progress. Milan, today we will be doing the general ledger, which are simply ledger accounts. And we are simply taking all the totals from relevant journals and posting them to the general ledger. I just need you to remember that the general ledger is prepared monthly. Normally it's prepared at the end of every month after closing of the journals. Now, when we talk about journals, it's from CRJ, CPJ, PCJ, DJ, DAJ, CAJ, and the general journal. All of those, once we have completed those, and we will prepare the general ledger. Now, the first general ledger we're going to be dealing with here will be debtors control. Now, what is the debtors control? Debtors control is a plus minus. It is an asset. It represents what is being owed to the business by customers. Now, everyone that bought on credit will actually um, be recorded uh, under debtors control, all right, whether they've paid or whether they are buying on credit. Now, please note that since this is an asset account and it relates to goods sold on credit, everything, every amount that comes to the debtor's control must be at selling price. Debtor's control, as we said, that is an asset. It will increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. Now, the balance of your debtor's control at the beginning of every month will be on the debit side. It will increase whenever we sell goods on credit. And remember, when we sell goods on credit, Two accounts are affected. The first one will be sales and the second one will be debtor's control. Debtor's control will be debited by the selling price. So basically, this is sales. Sales will actually be debited to debtor's control because the sales is the other account that is affected, which is an income account. Sales will be credited and debtor's control will be debited. That is why under debtor's control, we write the account that was credited, which is sales. Now, this will be the sales figure that we take as a total in the debtor's journal. And obviously, these are random amounts that I'm just coming up with in order for us to um, thoroughly go through this debtor's control account. And then you will have debtor's control total in your CPJ. Please note that with the total of your debtor's control that is in the CPJ relates to payments that were dishonored. So basically, these are the payments that we received from debtors. And when we received these payments, we recorded them in the CRJ. But later on, these payments bounced. The bank rejected these payments. It might have been due to insufficient funds or any other reasons. And when these payments are rejected by the bank, we are going to record them in the CPG. That is to cancel the initial payment we received that was recorded in the debtor's control column under the CRG. And please note that any cancellation, any payments that needs to be reversed or cancelled um, will be cancelled in the CPJ. We only cancel the cash part of that payment. The discount that relates to the payment, if there was any discount that was granted to a debtor when they made a payment, that discount will be cancelled in the general journal. And you will understand that we did this under the general journal. Now, that RD payment or, or refer to drawer payment that appears in the CPJ will be recorded under the debit side of your debtor's control account. And any refunds that we make to debtors will also be recorded on the debit side of your debtor's control account. What will um, be the last transaction will be general debits. General debits will be the total of your debits in the general journal under debtors control. So under debtors control in the general journal, remember we've got the debit and credit. The total of the debits will be recorded on the debit side of your debtors control. Now note that the total of the debits might be due to um, a data being charged interest, cancellation of discount on dishonored payments, all of those will be recorded in the general journal on the debit side of your debtor's control in the general journal. And that's all. That total will be recorded on the debit side of your debtor's control. And then we are going to credit this account. It will be reduced when debtors pay us. 
So that includes amounts that we received in cash from debtors and any discount that we granted the debtor will be recorded on the credit side of your debtor's control. It reduces what debtors owe us and that will be recorded in the CRJ and the amount in this case will be 120. Any returns by debtors will also reduce this account because it means that the debtors, when they return goods, their debt will decrease, which makes sense. When you return something that I sold to you on credit, your debt shall decrease by the selling price of the item that you are returning. The total of your debtor's allowances in the general in the debtor's allowances journal will be recorded on the credit side of your debtor's control account. And um, in this case, it's 15000 And any general credit which relates to debtors, it can be bad debt. Um, now, if there's bad debts, obviously that will be recorded in the um, general journal. We are going to debit bad debts in the general journal and we credit the name of the debtor um, whom we are actually writing off. And that uh, payment, obviously, or any other um, errors that might have impacted uh, on debtor's control that should be credited will be totaled up and will be recorded as general credits. And our general credits for this example will be 3,500. Find the bigger side. The bigger side, according to my calculations here, will be the debit side, which will be 141,700. Uh, Take that 141,700 minus everything that is on the credit side. So minus that 120,000, minus 15,000, minus 3,000, you will get the balance carry down and your balance carry down will be 3,200, which will ultimately be your balance brought down in the next month, in the at the beginning of the next month, and that will be 3,200. All right, this is the debtor's control. And I hope you understood what was going on here. Um, in the next video, we will just be tackling your trading stock account.